Hi everyone, I am Max, CTO at Supervisely. Today I will explain you how to start using Supervisely SDK for Python. We will go through several steps such as installation and authentication. Finally, we will write a simple Python script to cover upload and download scenario. For this tutorial, you will need Supervisely account, Python 3 installed on your computer and some ID, for example Visual Studio Code. Let's go! To reproduce this tutorial, first of all we need to install Supervisely Python package on our computer. Let's copy this pip install command and paste it in the terminal. So right now Supervisely package is installed. Go back to the guide. Uh, it comes with GitHub repository uh, with demo script and demo data. So let's just clone it. Copy this URL, type a command git clone and cd to the new directory. I would like to open Visual Studio Code in this folder. Let me do that. And uh, here it is. As you can see, I have only two files here. It's a demo script, Python script and the demo image. Before we start debug this demo script, let me show my account. As you can see, there are no projects and I only have one team and one workspace. And the last thing we need to do is to change these two values, server address and API token. This value is for community edition, but I have my private supervisory instance, so I need to replace it. Just open my supervisory account and copy this uh, value from address bar and paste it into my code. The same for personal access token. I just remove this demo value, go to my account settings, API token tab and copy this long string and paste it into my code. We do not recommend to keep your secrets in your source code. Instead, we recommend to use .env files and you can find more info about this tutorial basics of authentication. It explains where to find server address API token and how to work with these values uh, from environment file. Let's go back to the code and I think right now we can start debugging it. I will press F5 button. With this line we just initialize an API client that will help us to communicate with the platform. To test that we did everything right, let's get the list of all my teams. I have only one team, so as expected it prints that I am a member of one, only one team. Let's take this value from the list. Let me show you, it's just a name tuple with several fields like ID, name, description, my role in the team and so on. Then we get the list of all workspaces in my team and take the first element of the list. Workspace variable is also just a name tuple with several fields here. The next step is to create an empty project and empty dataset. Let's do that. We need to execute these two lines and let's check on the server that the project was created. I press start button, list of my projects and as you can see uh, empty project is here. Then we need to create annotation classes and tags. In my case I want to put rectangles around the cats so I create a class cat of shape rectangle and also I want to assign tag on the image so I create tag sen that can have any string value. Let's create class and tag and finally project meta is just a list of classes and tags. In my case only one class and only one tag and I create project metadata object. Uh, with this line we can upload this programmatically created classes and tags to our project on server. Before we do that let me show you that right now the project is empty, there are no classes, there are no tags. Here is the list of datasets. We have only one empty dataset. So let's execute this line and check that classes and tags were uploaded. 
Yes, uh, here we have one class of shape rectangle, the same for text. Let's go back to the code. With this line, I can upload local image to the server. I just need to pass an ID of the dataset that I've just created, name of the image, and pass where the image is located on my local computer. Let's run this line. And as a result, we have some uh, image info variable. Let's print it. As you can see, image info is also a tuple with ID, name, some unique hash. It also has mime type, extension, width, image width, image height, and so on. Let's check that the image was uploaded to the data set. Here it is. Let's open this. ID of the image can be found here. Here it is, this value. We can just type image info.id or we can find ID uh, right in the address bar, this value. Let's move on. Uh, I want to slightly change the layout so you will see that Supervisely supports live updates. So when I do something from my code, I can immediately see all the results on the platform. I will keep it here. The last thing I need to do is to create annotations for my two cats. To create a label in Supervisely, I just need to provide a rectangle with top left, bottom right coordinates and the class. In my case, it's a clad class, so I will create a first rectangle and the second bounding box. And also, I want to create a tag with value indoor, and then I will assign this tag to an image. So we created two labels, we created an image tag. And now we are ready to create an annotation from, for the image. We just need to pass as arguments the size of the image, height and width, also the list of labels and the list of image tags. If I execute this line, you will see that supervisory platform will pull all updates for annotation for the specific image in live. So internally supervisory uses WebSockets. To do this quickly, let me show you. I just run this line and the annotations we are updated. So we uploaded two bounding boxes for both cats and also we attached text send with value indoor to, in, to our image. And the final part of this guide is to explain and show you how to download image with annotation back. We have several functions here. If we have an image ID, we can directly download image as numpy array here. And let's print, uh, let's print the shape of the image. Here it is. And in a similar manner, we can download JSON annotation by providing specific image ID. Let's run this line and print this JSON to console. But of course, you can save it to file, for example. Let's run this line and take a quick look at the JSON format of annotation. So just a dictionary that has several fields like description, list of tags, in our case, we assigned only one tag, scan with value indoor. It was created by me. Here is a date time when it was created. Also, it has the key size with the height and width of the image. We keep it here for validation purposes. And also we have a list of objects. The first object of class cat of shape rectangle I created it and here are the coordinates on the image and the same for second object. 
It's also a cat of shape rectangle. I created it. And here are the coordinates for the second object. Uh, you can find more information about our annotation format in our developer portal. So just need to check this API reference. That's it for now. Thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye.